Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we will be looking at good old Microsoft Message Analyzer. It is the lesser known of the protocol analyzers. I'm sure you've all heard of things like Wireshark. And this guy uh, is kind of a nice little complimentary tool to have in your toolbox. It is free, it is from Microsoft. And it does a couple of things that you cannot do with Wireshark. So I thought it'd be uh, worthwhile showing it to you. So here it is, Microsoft Message Analyzer, and we're just going to start a local trace, real simple stuff, click, and now it's just waiting for me to generate some traffic. So I'm going to come back to my web page, I'm going to click on, oh, I don't know, customer list, about us, and I'm just clicking around here, causing some traffic, shut that down, and I'm going to stop my capture. So as you can see, this is one of the things that's different about Wireshark. All this stuff on your screen is not necessarily on the wire, and you can tell because there is no source and destination IP address, right? So this is stuff going on in your computer, and you can change what message analyzer reports, but this is just default. So if you just want to see your network traffic, the best way to do that, you go to viewpoints, kind of like a list of display filters for you Wireshark people, and transport layer UDP and TCP, click. And now we've got UDP and we've got TCP. Now, here's where it comes in uh, where you can do something a little bit different. If you want to know which application generated this traffic, was it Internet Explorer, was it Chrome, was it whatever, um, all you have to do is add a column, and that column would be the process name. So I'm going to skip the regular way of doing this because it's a couple of extra steps. And all we're going to do is right click on any header, and you're going to go to Add Columns. This little field chooser box appears on the right hand side. You're going to go to process name, right click, and add as a column. So now we've got a column. I'm just going to drag this back over this way. And now we can see it a little bit better. And uh, where'd it go? Uh, process name. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. So there's the process name right there. So you can see there's VNC, there's Internet Explorer, and all that kind of stuff, right? So I'm going to just drag it over here. There you go. And the other neat thing you could do with this is under process name, right click, add as grouping. And now this is pretty cool. So if you take a look here, it says process name six. So there's six entries for this application, Cam Recorder. There's this one called Idle, this one called Internet Explorer, so I can just collapse that. So it's actually grouped, just like Excel, like a spreadsheet, right, by application. So if I just want to see all the packets that are related to uh, Message Analyzer, I can just open that up, and I can see all the stuff behind that. So there you go. Pretty cool, pretty easy, and you might want to consider using this as well as your favorite protocol analyzer of choice. Have a good day. Bye for now.